Hi all, it's Courtney and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit of a long time since I've put a video up, <clears throat> but I'm getting back on track and trying to stick to a two videos a week sort of schedule to make it less less stressful on me. So I thought that I would start off by doing um, a book review. I do have a detailed um, version of this on my blog but I thought I have a much wider audience on my channel here than I do on my blog so I thought I'd do a quick little flip, flu flip through review of the Jane Davenport Beautiful Faces book. Um, I'll probably try and do a art um, book review maybe once a month for you guys. I do have quite an extensive collection of art and mixed media books and journaling books so I know a lot of people would love to see what's inside them whether it's worth the money and all that sort of thing. I have bought a few that I don't think were worth the money and have regretted buying so I thought I'd just give little um, informative videos on some of the books that I have. Not really long ones and in-depth ones because what's the point of seeing everything inside a book? You do like to have some surprises. So um, this is Jane's first um, debut art and mixed media book. She has done a lot of um, photography books and that sort of thing um, with her photographing of insects and ladybugs and all that sort of thing. But this is her first art and mixed media book. It's been published by Quarry and Quarry is, as I said on my blog, one of my favourite publishers for um, art and mixed media books. Some of my favourite books that I own are from Quarry. So, <clears throat> I got my book off the book depository. You can purchase from Jane herself, but I happen to be doing an order for a few books for family members, so I kind of just slipped this one in the trolley as well. Um, <clears throat> let me just find out how much it was on book depository for you. This book actually was in the Amazon um, top 10 for a really long time. It was at number one for quite a long time. Um, at the moment, at Book Depository, it's $25.50 Australian. So um, I was pretty pleased with spending that much. It's probably at the higher end of books that I normally buy. I normally spend between $15 to $20. Um, but I had heard great things about this book and I do really want to do the sister class that went along with this but for now the book will just have to do. So this book is filled with eye candy basically. Filled with pretty beautiful drawings but also a lot of informative things, um, a lot of step-by-step -step guides, close-ups. Um, if you want to get into drawing faces then this is a very fantastic book. I I do draw faces already, but I have found that this is a really fantastic um, tool to have on hand. I've done quite a lot of her um, classes, but I think that this book really helps because you don't have to sit there and rewind and press play, which is all fantastic. I love that sort of learning, but sometimes when I'm sitting on the couch and I just want to draw and not open up, you know, a website and this is this is, I've I've come to this quite often to sort of refresh when I want to draw something. Um, <clears throat> Jane took all the photos herself. And I've seen some of these um, drawings in real life when I've worked with her and they are stunning. So she goes through um, her studio space, some of her favorite supplies and it basically makes you want to buy everything which is Jane's superpower. Makes everything she touches you want. It's just the way it is. Um, lots of tips on paper and brushes and supplies and all that sort of thing which I thought was really helpful. Um, as well even though I've taken supplies me and it's still one of my very favorite classes if not my favorite class that I've ever taken so far um, I think this is a good sort of base if you're just getting into mixed media this sort of um, her sort of <clears throat> tips and things are really fantastic go through pastels um, gesso paper life is simply too short for crappy paper and I totally agree um, acrylic and mediums watercolors which is obviously her favorite and mine um, 
pencils, all that sort of thing. And as you can see, everything is beautifully photographed. There's not a dull moment in this um, in this book. It's a good coffee table book as well as being informative. That's what I think. I have flicked through this book time and time again and um, <clears throat> absolutely adore it. There's Jane stencils, which I have a set of that my daughter seems to have um, taken a huge liking to. Ephemera teaches you all the little bits and pieces. Now, um, I don't want to show you too much of the um, book. It it, she shows you how to get symmetry with your faces and step-by-step -step guides on how to do a quick, simple face if you're a beginner and you're not sure where to start. This is the the basis of, of her sort of faces and as the book goes on you get more and more um, information, more and more tips. <clears throat> And there's also um, anatomy, lips, noses, all that sort of thing. Um, if you're having trouble with turned faces, um, eyes, step by step, brows, lashes, hairstyles, which is my personal downfall, is I'll draw a beautiful face and then her hair will look absolutely ridiculous and it will just ruin it and I'll get really downhearted. So she does a whole heap of different um, hairstyles to help you get some movement and it's just really really lovely now besides the information she also teaches you like little side projects like um working with pastels working with inks working with um ha showing you how to shade with different mediums this is it's just packed full with information and I can just imagine the class would be exactly the same as she filmed the class while writing the book so they go hand in hand and you basically get to see the classes come alive I mean not the classes the pages of the book come alive because she as she wrote the book she was filming the class so I imagine that would be an, a really really beautiful experience to experience now I'm not paid to say any of this I have taken a lot of Jane's classes before I have worked with Jane um, I, I adore her as a person and as a teacher, so it's not, I'm not being paid to say this. I never have been paid to say anything about Jane's work. She is just a phenomenon, and I absolutely had to have this book. I knew when it came out. It didn't take me long to buy it. I put it off for like two months and then caved. Um, markers, showing you how to shade with your Copic markers. If markers are a, a foreign thing to you and you're not really sure where to start, Jane's got it all for you, and it will give you beautiful ways to get life like looking women it is so well worth the money and I think it's a fantastic tool to have in your art book arsenal this is probably one of the most informative face drawing books that I've got and also immerseful like it is beautiful to look at it's not just black and white drawings you are seeing every step and you're seeing finished pages next to step-by-step -step things it's truly I have flicks through it almost all the time whenever it's out it's, if it's not me that's got it, it's Lily Lily loves this book she gets it out and she tries her very very best to copy the the, t the little um, tutorials and she I think it if you have um, if you would enjoy it and you have kids I think your kids will enjoy this as well because I think the little the little basic face is so simple to to sort of get down pat and you just draw and draw and draw I, I honestly think this is a, um, if you're having trouble with your faces or you, or you want to work more on your faces I think that this is a um, a beautiful addition to have it is all high quality colored pictures on every single page and you don't get that very often with some drawing books you know sometimes get a lot of um, grayscale things and stuff but this is packed with beautiful things to look at as well as really helpful information um, I at first I was like oh I probably won't buy it because I've got I've done her classes and I can just go back and look at the classes but I have to say that I have looked through this book more than going back to look at the classes because I can sit with a page open and get things perfect and I can move at my own pace and if I am having trouble with something like I do if I haven't drawn in a while your hands do need more refreshers and this book helps me get looser again and get that sort of movement 
So I honestly think if you are toying with the idea of buying an, an art book or buying this book in particular, don't hesitate. You won't regret it. Even if it's just for looking at beautiful pictures of art and journaling, this book was totally worth the money. And I would buy it again. And I'm going to be buying it for friends as gifts. And when my niece gets a little bit older, um, she's only seven this weekend, when she gets a little bit older, I'll probably purchase this book for her. And um, I think it's a, a really beautiful, unique book. I don't think there's anything like it out there at the moment. Um, so I think if you're up for some pretties and learning how to draw really beautiful, whimsy-like faces, then this is totally the book for you. Now, um, my next video on my channel is going to be a... Um, where is it? The last of my honeymoon series. Um, I've got a couple of pages left in my little honeymoon section to finish journaling and then I've got maybe three or four pages at the back and then we're going to do a Midori flip. So that one, that's what's coming. So from now on you guys can expect two videos up on my channel a week. I'm going to try to get them on Mondays and Fridays. Um, this week will, is a little bit crammed though because I am helping my sister-in-law with a... Um, a party so I will get these two up in the space of about two days but normally it'll be Mondays and Fridays Sydney time not anyone else's so Monday and Friday in Australia so I hope that makes it a little bit easier for you guys I know I've had a lot of new subscribers and thank you so much I've almost hit 6,000 which is mind-blowing um, so I will get some more um, continuity on my channel and I'll also be blogging a lot more um, at the moment I'm doing a plus size capsule wardrobe. A lot of people asked if I was going to film it. I'm not very comfortable yet with filming that whole thing, but there's a lot of blog posts. There will be a lot of blog posts about a plus size capsule wardrobe with outfit photos. That's as best as I'm going to do for now until I feel comfortable in front of a video camera. At baby steps, baby steps. So I will see you guys very soon with my next Midori video, and then I'll see you every two days for the coming weeks. All right, bye.